I, I wanted to bring you a bunch of headlines from various media outlets, various mainstream media outlets. And so that's the, so this is, uh, let's see, we're starting off with, is this New York Times? I think, I think I did New York Times first. So this, I believe this is New York Times. Israel's air and ground forces put more pressure on Gaza. Now imagine if if this were during, say, World War II and you heard uh, Hitler puts more pressure on the Jewish community. Like, we're, in, we're witnessing, the world is witnessing ethnic cleansing, witnessing genocide, which is witnessing the wide-scale murder of children and women and the, the innocent people, elderly, uh, those who are who are invalid or or have other problems, and and yet this is called pressure on Gaza. What a hell of a goddamn euphemism that is! Israel's air and ground forces put more pressure on Gaza. It's you know, and and here's a way. It's a way for. New York Times to act like they're giving you the truth, to act like they're giving you the news, to act like they're giving you updates to what is going on in Gaza without saying genocide, without saying a massacre. These are people without water, without electricity, without a way to fight back. Yeah, there are some Gaza fighters, but there's also a shit ton of people that don't have big guns and things to fight back with. And they're just kids. And they're just people with, you know, holding the holding the rock. And are they are they really gonna are they gonna take on the IDF's bombs? It's insanity. But this is how they 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 they, they say uh, pressure on Gaza, put more pressure on Gaza, rather than calling this a, a genocide. Uh, let's get a, let's get another one here. This is more from New York Times. Israel's military appears to be approaching Gaza City. From at least three sides, imagery shows. You notice the words you don't hear there. You don't hear genocide. You don't hear massacre. You don't hear slaughter. You don't hear war crimes. Uh, it also gives you the impression that this is somehow some sort of fair war that's going on. Oh, the two sides of this war. No, this is an obliteration. And, I mean, Israel's just flattening the entire area, they're also telling people to flee to areas that are then bombed. So uh, there's that too. But uh, thank you, Omar, for the donation. Uh, he says that the October 7th concert story is a lie. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't read that much on the concert story. I do know that and I've covered on this show that a lot of the a lot of the death and destruction that was caused on October 7th was caused by the IDF. Now, you're it, it, it's fine if you want to sit there and argue, well, that was what they had to do. It was the only way to respond. Okay, have that argument, but we're not even being given the truth about what happened uh in any in any regard. Anyway, to go back to this, uh this is another one from the New York Times that makes this seem like some sort of fair even-sided war. Israel's military does this. It's like you're talking about killing children. Like say that. Here's CNN. Israel expands Gaza operation. Wow. That sounds so nice, doesn't it? No, that doesn't sound like there's murder at all. It's a Gaza operation. It almost sounds like a surgery to help Gaza, right? It's a little surgery to make Gaza a better place. Israel expands Gaza operation, sending more ground troops into enclave. Again, words you aren't hearing in this title. Murder, death, destruction perpetrated by Israel, genocide, ethnic cleansing, uh, settler terrorism. None of those words in here. Just Israel expands their Gaza operation. Eh, it's like, it is. It's a nice little surgery to make Gaza a better place. I mean, I don't even what, what, what kind of boardroom meetings do they have where they sit around and be like, what's a word? What, what word can we use in place of massacre that will feel nice? Uh, Israel continues the, the, the evolution of Gaza. Israel is helping Gaza evolve, evolve to a thing that's not Gaza. I mean, these people are 
like even these journalists are sociopaths. Crisis in Gaza. This uh, this is from is this Washington? Post? Oh no, this is more CNN. Crisis in Gaza as Israel warns of long war with Hamas. Crisis in Gaza is another one. Oh really? You you notice they leave out who caused it? Like who who is actually bombing Gaza right now? Because I don't know. This is it's tough to say. There was just a crisis in Gaza as Israel warns of long war with Hamas, but they're not. They're not battling Hamas right now, right? They're, yeah, sure, some Hamas are dying in these bombings, but really they're battling the entire population of Gaza. This is a war on the population of Gaza. This is not just a war on Hamas. They're not going door to door, but finding Hamas. Fight. They're bombing entire apartment buildings, killing everyone inside. Crisis in Gaza. That's another one. That's a beautiful euphemism, right? It's not. It's not an obliteration, a mass murder. It's not a Jeffrey Dahmer with missiles type scenario. It's a crisis. It's just a crisis. These are all euphemisms. More from CNN. More children killed in Gaza. Okay, so this is actually. I wanted to bring this one specifically because it actually is telling you about the children killed in Gaza. I didn't want to leave this one out because it tells you about the ki children killed uh, in, in Gaza. However, we'll see how even that they managed to whitewash. More children killed in Gaza than in global conflicts annually over past four years, save the children reports. Okay, so more children killed in Gaza. Well, this is horrific, uh, and I'm glad they at least did a story on it. But you'll notice... Who was it that killed the children in Gaza? In that title, who killed the children in Gaza? Because I I can't tell. I don't. Is it did was they is it heart attacks? Did they inhale rubble dust or is it did they get dust dusty lung? Um, or was it bad hummus? What happened to the children in Gaza? More children killed in Gaza. They never say Israel kills more children in Gaza. Then in gold, Israel slaughters more children in Gaza than all of the global conflicts over the past four years. Israel has already, in three weeks of mass murder, killed more kids in Gaza than all global conflicts annually over the past four years. But they don't say Israel in that type. In, in that opening sentence. And in fact, if you continue to read, so here's the opening paragraph, the number of children reported killed in Gaza during Israel's military campaign. So now at least they've told you the country that's connected to it. But th this is not how they would report. This is not how they reported the, the Hamas attack. It was not uh, uh, Israelis, you know, uh, a thousand Israelis killed uh, during Hamas's operation, was it? They, they didn't report it. You know, Israelis uh, killed, more Israelis killed during Hamas's attack. Uh, no, sorry, campaign. This one says campaign. So more, more people killed in Israel during Hamas's campaign. No, it was Hamas fighters or Hamas murdered or killed this many Israelis. You see the difference? And it is, I know some of you may be going, oh, you're parsing straws, hairs, what's the expression? But it makes a massive difference. It makes a massive difference to how we process these things, how we take them in. And if we read two articles, if all someone reads is two articles and they read one about Hamas's attack and one about what's going on uh, with Israel's uh, the bombing right now, uh, and, and the Hamas attack says Hamas murdered Israelis. And the other one says, more children have been killed during Israel's campaign. One of them is intentional. The other one leaves the room, uh, space meaning, leaves the space for you to think it's not intentional. Israel's trying to do their best. They're trying to, to take on Hamas and they're doing, their, they're doing their damnedest. But then kids just get killed somehow. There is, there is a key psychological difference between the way these things are phrased. And, and this, is, this is why I wanted to bring you the one article that actually does talk about kids dying in, in, in 
uh, Gaza being murdered, not Gaza by Israel. I wanted to bring you that specific article because this is when they're doing better. They're still playing this psychological trick on all of us. That's your mainstream media for you. Even when they're doing a better job covering the, the children murdered in Gaza, even then, they are still flipping the script so that you we're left with the idea maybe Israel didn't mean to.